Hello everyone, this is Mara of Oblivion 13 here, off with another tutorial, and today's tutorial is about Yabba Yabba Use. I'm not sure how to really say it, but I'll leave that up to you on how to say it. Okay, first of all, you're going to need to, if you're a 64-bit Windows person, and you would need to get this one. If you are a 32-bit, you would need to get this one. And you know about Mac having this one. Okay. So you want to, ins you want to download this one. I already tried the installer. It got messed up somehow. I did it twice. So I do recommend using this one. Oh, and I forgot to mention that Yabayuse is a Sega Saturn emulator. Which to me is like the best one ever for a Sega Saturn. Okay. Sorry about that. I had a little hiccups. Okay, now once it's downloaded, you want to extract the files into a folder. Yeah, you know, like about extracting files, like click this thing here. Oh, let me see, I gotta make up a separate folder to show you. I'm not saying that in a bad way, I'm just saying that there are those who do not extract files. Let's see here, I'll name this one. There you go, need this folder, Saturn 2, which is perfect. Okay. I see not that one. Not that one. Here you go. Then you want to extract the files. And put them into your folder. I use it to be organized, but it should help out too. Okay, once that is done organizing, I mean extracting, you will be brought to here onto the folder that you made. Okay. And then you want to go to here. It should show up. There we go. Okay. Now then, you're going to need to set your emulator up, which I have right here. I already pre-planned this. Okay, and so you want to get the BIOS, and I would normally just put it in here inside the Saturn folder I made. But you all can put the BIOS in a separate folder and then, then just look up the folder and just open the folder and then you click one of these. Okay, once you did that, it would look like this. Okay. This one right here is for CDs like the actual Sega Saturn CDs, but I couldn't find those in stores, so yeah. So for right now, we're going to stick with the ISO files. And then if you have the ISO file, this would show up. And you want to go to here, and you want to do like a BIN or a CUE file, but I do recommend using the C, let's see which one I have here, oh yeah. Sometimes I do recommend using the CUE files, but then there are some games that works with the BIN. So I say CUE works most of the time. Okay. Now then, since we got, now we got this part set up. Okay, now then for the video. I say, oh, I say to use open video interface, open GL video interface, which is good. Okay, I'll keep that in the default setting. 
Again, this right here is video format, which is very important. Due to the, um, due to the PAL is European version, and then there's NTSC, which is the North American version. So yeah, since I am in the North American region, I would choose the NTSC. Because that's what my computer monitor is. Alright. And now the sound. I would normally go with the default sound, which is this one over here. Okay, and the memory. Yeah, this is like important. Like, um, just in case you have a backup problem, you can always use this. It's like um, an N64 cartridge, except for it's mostly for a Sega Saturn backup thing. But that's just from my opinion. You all have your own opinions, and I do respect that. Okay. And the memory is here, like the memory card. It's going to be here, which is as good. Okay, and the input, which is the controls. To configure your controls, you're going to need to go click this wrench. Okay, and as you can see, I already configured most of the buttons. Well, except for these three. I'm still working on it, but I do believe that these three buttons right here are the most important ones. And the triggers too. And the arrow pad. Okay, and the input is this one here, just in case you're using a joystick like me. Alright, and then the advanced thing, I say keep these two the way they are. And as for this, I do say keep this the way it is, just in case there is a problem along the way. But you can go ahead and say never on all of these. That way the toolbar doesn't show up and menu bar doesn't show up. You know, we'll worry about that some other time. Again, these are the shortcuts. Just in case you're in full screen that you can always use these things to get out. You know. Like this one over here is a screenshot button. You can always take screenshots. Okay, and the configuration is done. And you want to click OK. Alright. Then you want to go to Open ISO. Or you can go to Run. But you need to go to Open ISO first before you run. So all I'm going to do is this one, I do believe. And here we go. Okay, this is one of my favorite games when I was younger. It's called Clockwork Night. And again, sorry if it's not in full screen, it's due to that this, this um, program I am using to record this tutorial can't do full screen. And sorry if you can't hear any sound, it's due to that this, due to the program I am using does not record sound. The only sound you will be hearing is the thing from my mic, which I'm wearing my headset on.
Ok. And there you go. Clockwork Knight on the PC. Sometimes I do wish that this emulator would not be underrated. Because it's definitely a great emulator. This is more of Oblivion 13 signing off. Have a nice day everyone.